we're still working with proportional relationships this week and one of the things that you need to know is how to graph proportional relationships and tell whether or not it is proportional by the graph that you're actually graphing. So we're given three different tables in today's homework and we're going to go ahead and graph the information on the table and then determine whether or not it is a proportional relationship or not. Now there's two things that we need to know when it's proportional. If you remember those two things, it'll help you with today's homework. So the first thing is that a proportional relationship is a straight line. Okay, so that's the first thing. So if it's a straight line, it quite possibly could be a proportional relationship. The second thing you're looking for is does it go through the origin? Does it go through the origin? So you may want to write that at the top of your page as well. And remember the origin is the point zero, zero. So it's the zero, zero point on your graph. So those are the two things we're looking for. In number one, we have our first table. It's the volume of a cube. We have our side lengths and feet and the volumes and feet cubed. Now the first um, column of our table is going to be our x value and the second one is always going to be our y value. So on our graph we have our x down here at the bottom and then our y is our up and down or our vertical axis here. So we're going to go ahead and plot these points. So we have 1, 1. So this is the same thing as point 1, 1. So I'm going to go over to 1 on the y and then up one. Notice that my graph is by threes though. So one would be about a third of the way up, right about there. Now my second point is two, eight. So here's the point that I am graphing, two comma eight. So I'm gonna go over to two where x is two, y is eight, and I'm gonna go up again. Eight is not a point on my graph, but I know that it has to be between six and nine. So six, seven, eight, nine. So eight's gonna be right about there. And then the last point we have is three, 27. Okay, so at X is three, Y is 27. So I'm gonna go all the way up to 27. Now, if you have a straight edge, you can kind of line this up and see if it's a straight line or not. So notice that if I line up, my first and my third point, my second point is not on that line. So same thing if I line up my second and third, my first one's not on the line. So this graph is not a straight line, it is a curved line. Now it probably does start at zero, zero. So if this is a curve, kind of curves up this way. But now the second part of this is I'm asking, is it a straight line? No, it's not. So because it's not a straight line, even if it goes through the point zero, zero, like this one seems to do, it is not a proportional relationship. So no. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and plot your points on the graph and then ask yourself, is it a straight line? Does it go through the point zero, zero? If both of these are true, then it is a proportional relationship.